it's Kevin from Koka, and welcome back to another video vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, because otherwise we're not going to continue making the vlogs. That I can assure you. Today we're going to show you one of my favorites, one of the things that people really love, and it's kind of our version of French toast. So the title is the greatest French toast in the world. Dun, dun, dun. And there's many reasons why. So first of all, French toast traditionally is like bowl, egg, cream, beet, and then you take like stale bread and you just kind of throw it inside and it just kind of sits there for an hour and then you pan fry it in butter. Good. No, no disagreement, it's good. But this is how to make it a hell of a lot better. Without using this, we use breadcrumbs. And it allows us to do something very, very special. So let me explain. For our French toast, this is what we do. Fresh apples, and we juice 250 grams of fresh apple juice. We're gonna mix that with 100 grams of beautiful brown sugar, Balinese palm sugar. And then that we're gonna mix together. So in the bowl, apple juice, brown sugar, mixy, mixy, mixy. Then we're gonna add eggs, okay? 300 grams, so six pieces of egg, 200 grams of cream, 100 grams of melted butter, little bit, fresh cinnamon, five grams, and a few raisins. Oh, those beauties go inside. And you mix. And you've got this water goo. Now to this water goo, you're gonna do 100 grams of the goo to 10 grams of breadcrumbs. So 10% of breadcrumb go inside. And this mixture becomes your base for your French toast. So all you need to do is you take it, in some type of a mold. You can use bloody anything. It really doesn't matter what you use. We use these because you don't need to get all fancy with butter and plastic and unmolding and parchment paper and headache, but anything you want. If you don't have much, you just use any type of a baking dish or a pan, and then after you can cut it however you bloody want. Now the benefit is we're able to get more flavor inside. And because we're using breadcrumbs, we can shape it to any shape we want. So in this mold, you basically take the mixture and that goes inside. Now this, we're gonna bake in the oven 125 Celsius, 15 minutes. And when it comes out, we end up with these. Now these, you just unmold like little cakes, okay? Now these little cakes, if you have the ability, like blowtorch or oven with the broiler salamander thingy on the top that you never use, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take a little cakey poo and you're going to put sugar, granulated sugar, just on the top of the cake. Then that you're gonna burn the hell out of it, blow torch salamander, however you want, right? And after, you end up with that. Now that is gonna shatter like glass and be the most delicious thing you've ever bloody had. So these, onto a plate, and you can serve as a dessert, you can serve as a breakfast, you can skip the sugar component and just do a little bit of icing sugar, but I promise you, the combination of the raisins, the apple, and the fresh cinnamon, and by changing the shape and being slightly more versatile, and by being able to increase the quantity of liquid and not be dependent on Mr. Day Old Bread, will give you the greatest French toast in the world. 